Hey everyone, uh, today we're going to go over uh, some new lashing styles. We're going to go over um, two different internal type lashing. Uh, one is going to include uh, the backboard, where if there's a patient that has to be immobilized and we would have to put them on the backboard, uh, we'll go over how to do internal lashing with it. The other will be internal lashing not using a backboard so the patient doesn't have any type of injuries that requires them to be on the backboard. Uh, we'll go over that method and then we'll talk about our external lashing. Uh, with the first one, this will be my video. Uh, with our first one, with our backboard, we'll talk about setting it up um, and getting it rigged. So we would take, I'm gonna show you, we're, we're gonna show you first uh, with the patient standing and then we'll lay you down uh, with it up first. You'll be able to see how the webbing goes on the backboard, uh, on, flows from, uh, from port to port on the backboard. So Jonathan is going to be our, our patient. First we take our 30 foot piece of webbing. Uh, it could be green, it could be gray. We're going to find the center point. When we find the center point, we're going to simply go to the very top of the backboard we will create a girth hitch. Once that girth hitch is created, everything now is going to run across the back. So we'll take, we'll split our webbing into two different pieces. One webbing will go through the very next hole where their shoulder is. And it will go around their shoulder. It's extremely important to remember on the backboard, you have these pins. We don't want to incorporate these pins. We want to stay away from them because they could shear off. So when we pull this through and we, and we pull it back, we want to stay away from the pin like so and like so, okay? Now, that has encompassed their shoulders. When we lay them down, you'll be able to get a better, better visual. We'll then come down to the next port. Again, staying away from our pins. We'll push it all the way through. And once that comes through, we're going to crisscross across their front. So you'll crisscross around the front and you'll drop down to the very next hole. All right, what this will look like, let's spin you to the left, John. Across the front is going to look like so. He's got his shoulders here. That's going to keep him from sliding up and down the basket. And we're starting to crisscross as we go down. We'll drop, we'll then drop down. I'm gonna swing you back around, Jonathan. To our next port. Out this hole, in the very next one, cross back over. In the very next hole. Yep. Out the very next hole. And then we'll cross back over. Depending on what the patient looks like, how, how large or how small the patient is will dictate how much webbing we'll need, okay? So we're gonna lay Jonathan down. I'm gonna spin him so you guys can see. Because again, when we would be placing this on the patient, we would be doing this with the patient on the ground, okay? So as we're snugging these down, come down to the last crisscross. If they don't have any leg injuries, we can cross it one more time. If you don't have enough, it doesn't matter. Um, we come right down to the bottom right here. When we get to the bottom, we'll create on each side a clove hitch with a safety. Okay, so all this is snug now, so if we were to pick Jonathan up, he's not going to slide out the top. And again, the whole point or the whole purpose of internal lashing is when we place them in this basket, they're not able to slide out the top of the basket and they're not able to slide out the bottom of the basket. All right, so this is how we would rig up a, for internal lashing someone that we're putting on a backboard. All right, if they don't need to go on a backboard, if it's a simple bringing up a, a, a slight slope where we use our regular straps, that's fine. But if we're coming off the edge of a building, if we're coming off a water tower, if we're coming off a, a cell phone tower, 
they need to have internal lashing attached, and this is this is the way the method that we're going to go with now with the dark fire department.